We visited ancient city of Pasargade on the trip from Isfahan to Shiraz. The total distance was 500 kilometers and we paid for the taxi 80 dollars, including two hours stop exploring Pasargade. Pasargade was the first dynastic capital of the Achaemenid Empire, also known as the First Persian Empire, founded by Cyrus the Great in the 6th century BC. The highlight of the ancient city is the tomb of Cyrus the Great, also called by Iranians as the father of Persia, who founded the First Persian Empire 25 centuries ago. It is believed there was an inscription on the tomb. Passerby, I'm Cyrus, who gave the Persians an empire and was the king of Asia. Grudge me, not there for this monument. We started exploring ruins of Pasargada by sightseeing train that took us to all remaining monuments. Around the 7th century BC, the region of Persis and southwestern portion of the Iranian plateau was settled by the Persians. From Persis, Cyrus rose and defeated the Median Empire, as well as Lydia and Babylon Empire, making the formal establishment of a new imperial polity under the Achaemenid dynasty. Based in Western Asia, it was the largest empire the world had ever seen at its time, spanning a total 5.5 million square kilometers, from the Balkans and Egypt in the west, to Central Asia and the Indus Valley in the east. The archaeological site of Pasargade covers 1.6 square kilometers and presents the remains of its palaces and garden layout, famous as Four Gardens, type of royal ensemble which became a prototype for Western Asian architecture and design. After the victory of Cyrus over Asyages, Cyrus founded Pasargade on the site of the battle. Historians say that Cyrus spared Astyages' life and even adopted Astyages as his father and married his daughter, presenting himself as the rightful successor of Astyages' kingdom. The city served as a ceremonial capital of the early Achaemenid Empire and was never meant to house a large population. Around 500 meters north of Cyrus' private palace are the remains of the prison of Solomon, variously thought to be a fire temple, tomb, sandal, or store. Local historians believe the reference to Solomon date from the Arab conquest, when the inhabitants of Pasargada renamed the sites with the Islamic names to prevent their destruction. The oldest monument of Pasargada is the citadel on the stone platform with 80 meters length and 15 meters height on the western slope of the natural hill of Talitakt, known as a throne hill and overlooking the palace complex itself. The impressive wall was made from 20 layers of huge stone slabs, weighted up to 6 stones and fitted together without mortar, but by using metal clumps. Citadel included pillared halls, storerooms, rooms and platforms. It is possible that the building represents the famous treasury surrendered to Alexander the Great in 330 BC. Alexander the Great was himself infatuated with and admired Cyrus the Great from an early age, due to his bravery, humanity and brilliance. After his conquest of Persia, Alexander had always intended to visit the tomb of Cyrus, and when he did, he found out that everything except the divan and the coffin are all gone. He then ordered for the restoration and reparation of the tomb, and had the tomb's guard arrested and tortured.